welcome guys welcome to my channel again this demo we will see how to use a point software uh, in order to design a road or in order to uh, do some uh, a road design as you know there is a uh, latest software which can be used for road design but for this tutorial i'm going to use a road design software which is eagle point which is the older version integration with autocar 2017 so in the first tutorial we will see how to create uh, a new regular point project and uh, add data and modify the projects and uh, create or make a topographic map on the you know in our data so open your uh, eagle point software and here you get new window here and uh, in this window you if you have already uh, created a project you can uh, continue using them but uh, if you are new or if you are going to create a new project go to uh, this icon which is create new project icon and click it and uh, again new uh, window appears here and uh, select what type of items you wish to create so uh, this is our first uh, angle point project so we start by selecting angle point project and uh, click next here a uh, new project window is open here and uh, add your project description here my i'm going to rename this as a road from station a, a to b station a to b just i'm giving this for example and uh, under project drawing if you have uh, created a project uh, drawing before on autocad you can add that project in this field but if you are creating a new project again you have to uh, give a specific location uh, where you want to save your project so i am going to put mm, my project here in desktop i'm going to create a new project folder and uh, which is called project folder 3 and this again create a new project which is called or you can write a name of the uh, contractor for example contractor tom <coughs> under this you can give the name of or the file name <coughs> again i can call this rod a to b or a to b is my then click open then from this window select angle point meter default and uh, you are done here so finally um, click finish a previous new description pass already exists so it says that i have to change this a to t error from a to t before i have already created a description called the road from a to b so i have to change this description then so this is a new uh, road project i have created it is located in this drive you can do some editing this rename the project or copy project or sub project you can delete it from here you can print it out also you can do project property you can check who's created the project who's created by whom it's created you can modify your project from here so after you have uh, done with this select your project name and then click ok then automatically uh, the autocad version 2007 and the eagle point windows appear here like this so next tax will be uh, doing some uh, analysis or some <coughs> modifications on this eagle point window this is the eagle point window and here the uh, autocad is in the black uh, window so after you your autocad in the eagle point software open at once come to eagle point window and select the system under this we are going to configure the 
Eagle point setting with our instrument or our data collection instrument and select the angular <coughs> tab under this here you have a category of angular and you have to select the input and the output units of this angular measurement so this is most of the time in arc second or degree minute seconds so apply here you have to select for degree of curvature this is depends on uh, the design that is under uh, going so under uh, arc definition you can select i think 10 for arc definition you have to specify which definition or the amount of the arc definition you are going to use yeah, and uh, if once you have specified it here angle point is going to use this in the entire project so you have to take care of these values so i'm okay with 10 for arc definition then apply under here there is chord definition chord definition is most of the time 20 <coughs> So uh, this value as this value are uh, very necessary in the hard uh, horizontal and horizontal curve in horizontal curve designation so core definition is 20 and arc definition is 10 linear unit will be in meter <coughs> already you have fixed it, fixed it in the beginning of the project in the planimetric area will be in square kilometer or square meter or in hectares so apply so you have to check all this category <coughs> and you have to in specify their input and the output units once you have finished click ok and uh, come back to this angle point uh, window in the from system again go to format this format is <coughs> used again in order to specify the uh, types of the measurement that you are going to use so you have to tell the software in which format he is going to uh, do the process so under horizontal direction it is most of the time horizontal is north in the <coughs> north of the mood and select it and apply you don't don't forget to uh, click apply then nodes nodes will be in an alphanumeric or numeric this depends on the your input uh, format <coughs> or in data collection format so if you have previously collected your data in alphanumeric, you can use alphanumeric or numeric. If it is, well, it was the numeric. So if for nodes, in my case, I'm selecting numeric and apply. And in the stationing, this is most of the time the course going to use this international 20 meter. And select this and apply. So under this category, you have finished the three and apply and I click OK next is precision in order to specify the points and after the zero for each category for example for angular unit you can go for i can go with uh, three decimal places after point or two you can change the value apply for all of the categories you have to specify the precision For linear units, I'm going to use 3 3 station offset and void value. So, this is to tell the software to use uh, to specify the precision or the value of numbers after 0. So, specify this and the click of it. <coughs> Our next task will be again here in the system prototype setting, creating a prototype that the software will use in the next tax <coughs> here there are a uh, default and uh, here i have created this prototype before so i'm going to delete this or i can keep it here and uh, create a new prototype for my next work so create <coughs> click this create new prototype setting and uh, specify uh, your prototype description or name I'm going to name it new <coughs> new prototype and our project is this one which is created right now and I click OK 
and select the prototype you have created which is new prototype in the inter from your keyboard so here you have we have done with uh, this <coughs> prototype setting and the precision format and the units these are the most commonly uh, settings that we have to check in this uh, system window the next uh, step is a product under product you are going to transfer your survey data your survey data here i have this <coughs> data this data which is collected in the field using a surveying instrument and here i have point number and the next i have nodding i have sting and the elevation of the points and the description of the points this description shows what does this point represent and also this also shows what does this point shows on the ground so uh, when the surveyors collect the uh, the points they have specifically specified their uh, description in this uh, description colon so here i have point number again nodding of the point is thing elevation and description of the way so based on this format i am going to add this excel csv data into my eagle point project so uh, to recap <coughs> to now we have covered how to create the new project using this uh, our, out in eagle point software and then we have adjusted some systems here and our next step will be how to uh, add or transfer a survey data into our eagle point project so um, come to here uh, products under this there is what we call uh, data transfer data transfer window will be open here then after go to uh, format we have to create a, a format in which our data is going to be uh, presented on this uh, window or uh, autocad window so uh, there is two way two ways two ways you can add your data first you can create a layers in this uh, autocad and then you can copy and paste all your pointers uh, on this uh, layers so for example if you have center line of uh, your road which is collected in the field you can create a new layer here new layer and you can rename it uh, center line center line and uh, uh, make it uh, your current make it uh, set as current then after uh, go to your uh, excel and uh, select uh, the the only center line uh, the only center line point is here filter it and uh, from this description select only uh, the center line yeah i have for example from this data i have around 160 something yeah i have this my center line pointers so you can just select only the center lines i think here i have yeah i have already selected the center line so you just you can copy this and save it in another uh, like this here i have created this one yeah these are the center lines you can uh, open this uh, in a notepad this one and select all the points and copy them and come to autocad and select and make your point this or this layer uh, as a current layer and uh, click apply okay then after go to here point and under this specify point copy and paste the points 
እንደ ዘይካን አውቶማቲካሊ አደድ ቱ ዚስ ዲንግ ይወላሎ በት ፍሮም ኢግል ፖይንት ሶልቴር ዩ ካን ዩ ካን አልሶ አድ ዩር ዳታስ አፍተር ዩ ሃቭ ፍሮም ዘ ፕሮዳክት አፍተር ዩ ሃቭ አድድ ዩር ዳታ which is ዳታ ትራንስፈር ካም ቱ this window in the format create new format the format in which your data will be added to this uh, software so uh, in the <coughs> in the format you have to create a new format so i'm going to rename it new new format then um, under this go to comma in the first uh, you have to specify number of points i'm going to use 10 then select point then delimitate no ring delimitate sting elevation point then description i have these columns from my data so you have to just select no ring sting description elevation and uh description this shows elevation and uh, this is a sting so first you have to save your data in this format point norging sting elevation description your autocad software and the uh, eagle point software will understand your data format in this format so first you have to save your uh, data in this format so after you have form fill this uh, click ok and uh, from the, your keyboard Uh, click enter then after you have finished this come here data import file and then here you have to select your uh, format uh, the format i have saved here is new format new format this one is it and uh, come here and uh, go to your directory i have saved my <coughs> data here eagle data this one is it and uh, click ok mm. then click ok already uh, 25 it's nodes is imported so click cancel we have already done with this also and uh, come to this command and the click uh, z enter uh, e enter which is zoom to extent here our data is added here so this is a survey data and we are going to use this data uh, uh, to create <coughs> a contours or topographic uh, features in order to uh, in, uh, interpret the area or in order to uh, know information about our area and uh, then create or design a road on this uh, point data so uh, this is uh, all about today's uh, tutorial in the next tutorial we'll see how to perform uh, how to uh, do uh, surface analysis and uh, create a contour line in the prepared topographic map on this uh, point again thank you for your watching Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe and share my channel and thank you again.